Hi, we're Clap Clap Riot, and we are from Auckland, New Zealand, and we're an indie rock band. And you're watching the AU Review. You've got a, uh, a single out at the moment, and I imagine that's a bit of a taste of a new record. It is, yes. The, uh, the single we've got out is called Everybody, and um, it was taken from the new record that we recorded at the start of the year, and we did that with Cody Nielsen, who's formerly of The Mint Chicks, and opossum and um it's basically sort of the first thing to come of many tunes off the new record and there's been a bit of touring for it as well and single launches oh yeah, uh, yeah basically we've got a um we've obviously got the shows um on thursday no, sorry wednesday thursday um here and then um we've got a new zealand tour like uh, in the following week um and we're just doing the main sort of centers down there so auckland uh, one in Christchurch and Dunedin um, and then we're doing Big Day Out in New Zealand yep. at the start of next year as well you've played that before yes what was the experience like last time it was really good actually we got um, we went over our set time by <coughs> a couple of minutes on the day that we'd done it because it was the first time we'd done a festival like that and all of our amps got cut off on us and uh, so but we kept on playing we our kept on we kept on playing know, through it coming and out of the amps so <laughs> the end of the set ended up being just vocals and drums and sort of <laughs> the rest of us were left dawdling on stage but it was an awesome set good crowd and um, good fun how is it going to compare this year you got a little later time slot this time around or uh, times haven't been put out yeah. yet but there's only two stages now in New Zealand and so everything is kind of bigger and better as far as what you're going to do over there yeah. So main stage basically. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. I think it's cross. I think potentially we're on Blur's stage, which is great because we're big yeah. fans of Blur. So you'll be sticking around to watch them later in the day. Yeah, well, there's talk of a uh, ping pong tournament backstage for Blur. Apparently they're known for that, so we might get our ping pong chops up. Make sure we're ready for it just in case. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, tell us a little bit about what we can expect from the new record. I mean based on kind of what we know from your from your debut I imagine there's been a bit a few changes along the way yeah it's I can it's just a it's kind of more the record we kind of wanted to you know write you know like um everything's a bit more stripped back it's a um, bit more raw um it's more live um when we recorded it um we basically were all in the same room and we recorded uh the majority of it live and it's just yeah just it was a really comfortable and fun album to record you know and Hopefully that comes across um, on the actual record when it comes out. We really wanted to put a large focus on the live element yeah. towards the record, so we tracked the all 12 tracks in four days in a studio, and there was relatively minimum um, minimal overdubs. And the whole feel of the record is probably a lot groovier, and um, that's a little bit more lo-fi and a little bit... Um, kind of it definitely has more of a 60s feel to it I think than mm. previous the previous output does that just come about based on the music that you listen to on a day to day basis you know how, yeah. does, how does that sort of fit in, fit in the yeah, I, de I definitely think it has a lot to do with like you know because we all kind of have that sort of like similar 60s sort of um, you know taste um, you know like bands like the Beatles and the Kinks you know they're like um, uh, what's the other band that we also Easy Beats. Yep. Um, Easy Beats. The, yeah, I think part of it is what we listened to and also who we worked with yeah. played a big part in that. Um, but the even just the raw writing elements of the new record were very different from the previous record when we were just looking at rough demos to put it together. And you mentioned you worked with Cody on the, on the record? Yeah. Yeah, uh, Cody produced and mixed and co-engineered the record. And um, he was really great to work mm. with. It's, we've always loved um, all of the material that he's put out as far as Minchik's stuff and Opossum's record. So it was cool to work with someone who also gave us quite a lot of freedom as far as what we wanted to do. He had a good grasp on sort of the 60s style of music and style of recording. and um, So we, he helped basically direct us exactly where we wanted to go. And I think... You know, if it turned out to be a crap record, we'd be the only ones to blame for it at the end of the <laughs> <Yeah>. day. <laughs> so, um, 
what's next for you when um, when the album comes out? What um, well, when is it coming out? And then um, are we going to be seeing you back over here? For so it? yeah, definitely. Yeah, we're looking at like January. Yeah, yeah. It's, we're penciled for January for the yeah. release date for it. Big yeah. day out, kind of teared up. But yeah, we want to want to make sure we get it out for big day out, and then try, try and get back here. You know, on yeah. a regular basis, and just kind of. Yeah, you know, play more shows around Australia. That's pretty much the um, plan. Would yeah, you say? yeah. I think the first thing we'll do um, after it gets put out in January and we've done the big day out was we'll aim to get a album release tour done in New Zealand and then the release tour done in Australia quickly after that. Fantastic. We'll look forward to seeing you back here. And um, are you looking? Are there any bands you're looking forward to seeing at uh, Big Sound? Uh, calling all cars. Uh, we're going to go check those guys out. Yeah, I'm looking. Also looking forward to seeing Eden. Yeah, um, I've heard good things about his solo stuff. So yeah, we've known um, Eden for a long time. We we did a big tour with Motorcade yeah. uh, a couple of years ago with them. So we're pretty, um, I suppose, chummy chummy with those guys. So we're imagining we'll have a few yeah. beers with them uh, tomorrow night. Too easy. Well, thanks for taking the time. And um, have a fun time at, uh, at Big Sound, and we'll see you back here soon. Cheers, man. No worries, mate.